All right, peeps, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just playing this game, you know, having a good time, and I realized I might as well just be recording, because why not? Um, uh, so what this is called, it's called Everspace 2. It's like a single-player RPG, uh, entirely set in spaceships, similar to Elite Dangerous, but uh, I feel like it's much more rich than Elite Dangerous, you know? There's a purpose to what you're doing. Uh, it's kind of like skyrim -y in some aspects, right? Where there's there's like a main quest, but you're always like, yeah, f that main quest, dude. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Uh, and it, the game gives you a lot of options for freedom. Um, just a warning, it is early access, and there's plenty of content that will be added. Um, so it's, it, you know, if you see bugs, glitches, or, you know, the cutscenes are weird, or you hear text-to-speech dialogue, um, it's just because the game is, is not nearly complete yet. Uh, but as it is, I still find it really enjoyable. Uh, I've been playing with my HOTAS. Um, it's an X52 Pro uh, set from LG. It's really, it's really nice. I might put a picture in, but uh, uh, they devs say you shouldn't use HOTAS. But honestly, I've been really enjoying it on HOTAS. I'm not sure if it's easier, um, <laughs> but you know, I think it might be harder than keyboard and mouse. I think the game's designed kind of like an RPG, right, where you have you know, uh, consumables and abilities and ults and that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, I think it, there's not really enough keys, uh, enough controls on my HOTAS, even though it has tons of buttons. Um, but it's, I find it really just very enjoyable. The flight and, and the mechanics are really nice. They're arcadey, but at the same time, there's like depth to it and, uh, and a bit of nuance. Uh, so without any f uh, further ado, uh, I'm gonna get into it. Uh, I've been talking long enough, so let me just show you what's what's going on here. Currently, I'm like attacking a facility. Uh, this this corporation. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Pretty pretty neutral corporation shit, you know. They just like the money, um, and we're just we're just destroying some shit, basically. It says that Delia's belongings were shipped to Neftis Station. Guess it's time to pay Officer Shaw another visit. Is he one of the? What kind of GNB, or the kind you shoot on sight? I am certain he is one of the good guys. <laughs> I think Adam is... This guy, we met him, uh, we did a job for him, he's okay, but I, I wouldn't say I trust him completely. <laughs> but he's aight. Okay. I'm not really an outlaw or anything, but... Uh, I did steal stuff from this facility earlier, uh, and the stuff I stole uh, was a woman, so I don't think they like me very much. Anyways, I love the combat here. It's it's fun. It's snappy. It's you know the ship doesn't have any real momentum. There's not really a vector, uh, a velocity vector, but uh, and you just basically turn on a dime. But in that way, it's kind of just really cool because you have really just really fine control over the ship and you can dodge bullets and missiles and stuff. It's really cool. Oh, there's like a bad guy over here? I, I gotta shoot bad guys. Yeah, first you gotta take out these armored drones. It's very important because they boost everyone's health. It's very annoying. And these guys are also annoying because they throw f poison at you, which is... Ugh. Ugh. It's gross. Honestly, I haven't switched off the original abilities yet because they're just so good. You know, zap them. Oh no, now they can't do anything. I get a free kill or two. You know? And then, uh, my other one is just leave so I can, you know, heal and not die. The, the oh shit button, if you will. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Actually, the story's not that good. I don't care. Ah, Mr. Roslin. I'm afraid you have come at an inconvenient time. Ah, uh, what's wrong? I'm telling you. You were just ransacked just by our own head management. Blakemore's elite squad removed large amounts of provisions and weapons <laughs> from our home. When it comes to cutting lifelines, this is a new low, even for management. Assholes. Are you sure they took it all? I recently passed Nerea Transit Point, and all I saw were a bunch of cargo drones waiting to be scanned. But no one around to move them anywhere. Could be the stuff you're missing. You must be joking. Agnetha sent me all data coming from the transit station. Well, I'll 
be. You're right, Mr. Roslin. Looks like someone reshuffled our hand for us. Is there anything I can do to repay you for this situational update? Actually, I'm looking for a cargo drone, number AAPY-7633. I was told that it was sent here. Let me check. Ah, I remember. AAPY was part of a shipment containing new medical Never personnel. Mind. He's pretty chill. We had sent out a request for a new doctor, but only their luggage arrived. Since we had no use for their possessions, we dumped the cargo drone in a nearby junk hole. You might still find it there. Nice. Excellent. Thank you. Losing a full-blown doctor was just as bad as getting our provisions halved. Maybe worse. As it stands, I have two miners in medbay with only an unskilled AI operator treating them. So, should you ever find out what happened to the lost doctor, don't hesitate to tell us. Yeah. I'll look into it. I am certain you will. Godspeed, Mr. Roslin. It was good seeing you. Again. I hope she's chill with that. Oh, but I don't even know if Adam's gonna ask, dude. I mean, it's clear. It's clear. We're getting her possessions. This she, he knows we're linked. You know, it's not. It's not a mystery. Do, do, do. You have reached the aforementioned junk hole. Seeing this, I wonder if Delia's stuff is still in one piece. Yeah, I guess it. it, it, it oh, it's all ra irradiated and shit. Gross, dude. It's disgusting. Oh, I guess that's just corrosion. Um. No, this is still... Ugh, spiders. Disgusting. I'm talking about how maneuverable the ships are, can't even control. Well, okay, yeah, but put it in my inventory, jeez. What the heck? Are glitching again. No, I am reading out file names from one of the storage units inside the box. Don't tell me you're rummaging through Delia's things. It may interest you, but the box contains no research material, but mostly outdated media files. Delia will know if anything's missing. You just keep your nose out of it, okay? As you wish. He's so nosy, but most of the time we, we actually entertain him and <laughs> want to know what's going on inside. Everyone's personal stuff. You're back. It's been a bit of a journey, but is this what you've been looking for? Looks about right. Let me check. A friend of mine called Shaw told me where to find it. He's the chief officer of Neftis Station. That's where they were shipping you. He's a good guy. Told me losing a doctor put them in a pretty tough okay, spot. Oh, damn it. What is it? Those bastards took my research files. I had made certain that they would be shipped along with me, but G&B must have removed them after they froze me. What kind of research? Medical stuff. You wouldn't... Sorry, I don't want to take this out on you. It just looks like G&B screwed me over far worse than I had thought. So, what were you saying about this Shaw? Forget it. It's not important. They're missing a doctor, huh? I'm not very keen on moving to their base, but I could set up a secure line and talk to them. If they have any medical emergencies, I might be able to assist them remotely. You are aware that they're G&B, right? I do, but I am a doctor above all else. Well, that's what I would Once hope again, she would say. I'm walking back into my forest with open eyes. Um... It's a reference to a song. At least my books and music are still in that box. It will keep me sane for a while. What kind of books? All sorts. Guilty pleasures, high art, most of it pre-off-worldian stuff. But I like it. Hey, once things have calmed down a bit, I could give you an introduction. I would like that. Good. We have an appointment. Well, I gotta get back to my lab. Thanks again, Adam. You're welcome. One of my sci-fi pet peeves is how it's always like, oh, it's, you know, I love the Earth stuff, you know, and oh, Earth is so cool. It's like, like, I'd like to hear about, you know, some, some bullshit they make up, like, you know, some random bullshit that sounds like a cool story, you know? 
but but I guess you know it's 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 hard. You know, it's it's a good liter you know uh, narrative trick, right? To to just make it all stuff that already exists. You know, and and, it, and it's it, it, it's cool sometimes, but I just see it so much. I'm just tired of it. You know, maybe I'm just you know too much sci-fi. Too much sci-fi. I think I want to jump back to Union because Union's pretty pretty dope. This system's kind of kind of janky. I mean, I haven't explored all of it, but it's you know it's it's like the the uh, oh just learning how to play the game system. Ooh. Oh she some shit happening over here. Give me that armor drum. Get in there. Hey, no, no exploding me here, please. So annoying. Armor popper. Tractor beam took a little bit. Man, these guys. It's taking a while to kill that guy. It was not that hard. Ah. We got too close. The bastards. Let's go!